Hey everyone, today I'm diving into the recent unrest in Bangladesh, a nation caught in the crossfire of its past and present. Let's break down what's happening and why people are out on the streets. First up, the background. Recently, Bangladesh has seen a wave of protests, mainly driven by students. The spark, a dispute over quotas in government jobs. This isn't just about jobs, though. It's about history, identity, and a whole lot of unresolved tension. The quota system in question was designed to uplift marginalized communities, but many argue it's unfairly disadvantaging those not covered by the quotas. The frustration isn't new. It's been simmering for a while. But now it's boiled over. Protesters are demanding a reassessment of the quota system to ensure equal opportunities for everyone. Now, let's talk about the Razakars. This paramilitary group collaborated with Pakistan during the 1971 war for Bangladesh's independence. Their legacy is one of betrayal and atrocities, making them a deeply controversial part of the country's history. The recent protests have reignited anger towards the Razakars. Many feel the government hasn't done enough to hold those accused of war crimes accountable. The memory of the Razakars is a wound that never really healed, and it's fueling today's unrest. So, what are the protesters demanding? Beyond job quotas, they want justice and accountability. They're calling for thorough investigations and prosecutions of alleged war criminals and greater recognition for the sacrifices made by freedom fighters. The government, on the other hand, says the quotas are necessary to address historical injustices. They've condemned any glorification of the Razakars and insist they're committed to upholding the values of the Liberation War. But their response has been criticised. The use of force against protesters and attempts to silence dissent have raised serious concerns about free speech in Bangladesh. In essence, this situation underscores the complexities Bangladesh faces. How do you confront a painful past while trying to move forward? How do you balance historical injustices with the need for equal opportunities today? As the protests continue, it's clear that the road to resolution is neither simple nor easy, but understanding the roots of these tensions is a step towards grasping the broader picture. Thanks for watching. If you found this breakdown helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more in-depth looks at global issues. Until next time, stay informed.